Rightio. <clears throat> Give you a quick rundown of how to install a window. Pretty straightforward. Put some packers under each side so the weight of the tie down in the roof comes down on the window it's only on the two outside points and then it doesn't get pushed up in the middle and then stops the window from being able to slide back and forth so we put these packers in to prevent that so i'm just going to get rid of this air hose this will get a bit of breeze going while i install it Normally you'd have plasterboard as your internal lining, but on this particular one, we're gonna have villa board in the bathroom. I might pack that up another little bit. On each side. So we're gonna have villa board in the bathroom here which is not your 10 mil plasterboard dimensions so it's um actually six mil villa board that we'll be using in here so we just make sure that um <clears throat> we're six mil from here from the frame to the outside of the reveal on the window anyways first thing we do is check that it's now been installed level you can see in the bubble there that's pretty good so what I'll do is I'll actually nail down this corner here because if anything it did look like I wanted to get up here an absolute smidgen I'll make sure the gap between the reveal and the frame is relatively equal depending on the scenario you might actually need it over to one side we're going with six mil so i like to give myself just another one or two mil to allow for any like setting for the plaster or um you know maybe a discrepancy in the wall frame And that just allows you when you put your architraves on that there's still enough reveal sticking out to get a real nice finish on it it's not much you just need a mil maybe two and then it'll be a lot easier come when you go to put your trims or architraves on looks pretty good i can just wedge it up a touch on this side get it spot on and once I've got it spot on I like to lock it in and I lock it in by putting nails in on the sides As you can see I've hit something there it must be the framing nail and the nog so put another one in and I'll fix that one up once I've got the top secured but when I measure too, I like to measure, I like to measure from a corner where you're bridging two separate pieces, just in case one sticks out further than the other. Anyways, that one's good. So I'll just tack one in there and double check it. There's a bit of play in the nails where you can actually pull it in or out if you have to like that. And it must have shot a blank. There we go. Oh, it went right between the right between the lintel and the frame of the head there. Yeah, so we're going with six mil. It's actually seven, so that should work out perfect once the cladding goes on. 
Another way to check is to run a level across your studs. And that looks pretty good too. Next, next one is I like to check this one. If you can do it on the frame, it's a lot more accurate. So the top wants to go that way a bit. So what I normally will do is I'll nail in this side here and then I can wedge it out and it'll hold on those nails. And then so we just wedge it out. with the back of the chisel, a little bit more, and that's spot on, just going to check this out, see if it's moved, no, nice, cool, so then all I do is hold my measurement on here and throw some nails in, Not bad. Just lock it in, lock that one in. And then I'll throw two up here. Now this allows me to make adjustments to make sure that the sill is nice and straight. And you just pop it up with your chisel like that. Don't know if you can see this, but oh, there we go. Go like that. And there you go. Hang on. Same here. This one's actually got to go in. So while I've got my nail punch out, I'll hit that one in. a whole lot better and just tweak it a little bit very marginal very nice and there's a little bit of a rock in there so that means they want to go up slight rock there still beautiful and that is how we install a window. Beautiful. Nice even gap all the way around the outside. I'll run damp course down the sides in the bottom. A flashing over the top on the outside. And you'll see that in another video.